In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a 100% working Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. This improved and unique method works perfectly for all Mac operating systems from the latest versions, such as macOS Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, and Big Sur, to older ones, like macOS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and macOS X Lion. So whether you need to create a bootable USB drive for the latest or older Mac operating systems, this video works for you. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends you know that, I've made a lot of videos on this topic. Every time, I have tried my best to show you a different and easy way to create a Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer. But today's video is truly special, because in today's video, I will not only show you how to download and create a Mac bootable USB drive on Windows for free, but also, I will address common issues that you may face while creating a Mac bootable USB drive on Windows. At the end of the video, I will provide a special offer for those who want to create a Mac bootable USB drive on Windows with just a few clicks. So let's start the video. To create a Mac bootable USB drive on a Windows computer, we will need a few things. A Mac OS installer, some free softwares, and a blank USB drive. The size of your USB drive will depend on your operating system size, but a 16GB USB drive will be more than enough for us. Please note that the following process will erase all data on the USB drive. So make sure you don't have any important data on it. First, we will prepare our USB drive and then make it bootable. To do so, we can download a free software called Paragon Partition Manager. The link is in the video description. After installation, connect your USB drive to your Mac and launch the software. The user interface of this software is straightforward. It displays a list of both internal and external drives. In my case, I have two disks, Disk 0 and Disk 1. Disk 0 is my internal hard drive, while Disk 1 is my USB drive. Currently, my USB drive is formatted in NTFS with an MBR partition scheme. However, to use it with macOS, it must be formatted in macOS Extended Journaled with a GPT partition scheme. So for that, first we need to select our USB drive and then click on the Convert MBR to GPT. Now click the Convert Now button. This process will change the partition scheme of the USB drive from MBR to GPT. Once the conversion is complete, close the window and go back to your USB drive. This time, select its bar and then click on the Format Volume button. From the File System drop-down menu, choose Apple HFS. This is optional, but if you want, you can also choose a name for your USB drive. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is and click on the Format Now button. Click Yes, I am sure, and then click on the Next button. This process will format our USB drive in the macOS Extended Journal. Now, our USB drive is fully prepared because it's formatted in macOS Extended Journaled and the partition scheme is GPT. So let's move on to the next step. In step number 2, our goal is to download the Mac operating system from Apple's official website. For that, I will include a link to this page in the video description where you can find all the new and old Mac operating systems available for download. Some operating systems you can download directly from here, and for some, you need the App Store. First, we will focus on this portion. Then, I will show you how to download and create a bootable USB drive for these operating systems. Operating systems that can be downloaded directly from here include macOS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and macOS X Lion. Please keep in mind that creating a bootable USB drive is the same process for Mac OS X Lion and Mountain Lion. Similarly, the process of creating a bootable USB drive is the same for Mac OS Sierra to Yosemite. This means that once you know how to create a bootable USB drive for Mac OS Lion, you can use the same method for Mountain Lion. Similarly, if you learn how to create a bootable USB drive for Mac OS Sierra, you can use the same method for these other operating systems. So let's download Mac OS X Lion and Mac OS Sierra. This process will take some time, depending on your internet speed. When your download is complete, navigate to your downloads folder to locate the downloaded files. In my case, I have two downloaded files. Install OS, which is Mac OS Sierra, and install Mac OS X, which is Mac OS X Lion. Please note, Creating a bootable USB drive from these DMG files won't work. 
This is because, these DMG files contain Apple's installer in a zipped format. To make a fully functioning bootable USB drive, it's necessary to first unzip the installer. This is where step number 3 comes into play. In the third step, we need to download a free software called 7-Zip. The link is in the video description. Firstly, I will demonstrate how to create a bootable USB drive for Mac OS X Lion. After that, we will learn how to do the same for Mac OS Sierra. Anyway, after installing 7-Zip on your computer, simply right-click on the Mac OS X DMG file and select Open with 7-Zip File Manager. After opening the DMG file, double-click and open Install Mac OS X folder. Now you will see a file, installed Mac OS X .package. Right-click on it and choose Open Inside. Please keep in mind that don't choose the first option of Open Inside. Choose the second option, which has this star icon. Now you will see the install Mac OS X package folder, open it up. And here is the file we need, install esd.dmg. Please note that in Mac OS X Lion and Mountain Lion, the install esd folder contains the complete Mac operating system. So we need to copy this folder to our desktop. This process will take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. After completing the process, close the 7-Zip application and proceed to the next step. In the next step, we have to download another free software, called TransMac. It's basically a paid software, but its trial version is more than enough for us. The link is in the video description. After downloading, go to your start menu and open TransMac as an administrator. Because we are using the trial version, wait for the countdown to finish and click on the run button. From the left hand side, right click on your USB drive and choose restore with disk image. Click on these three dots and browse the install ESD file which we extracted a moment ago. Select the file and open it. First click on OK and then yes button. This process will take some time depending on our hardware configuration. After the process is complete, you will get a restore complete message. Click OK and let's check the USB drive. And you can see that I successfully created a Mac OS Lion bootable USB drive. Here are the Mac OS X Lion installer, packages, system folder, and boot files. By the way, if you don't see these boot files, go to the tools menu and select settings. Then, enable the option to show hidden and system files. Let's learn how to create a bootable USB drive from macOS Sierra to Yosemite on Windows. First download the macOS installer, then right-click the DMG file and open it in the 7-zip file manager. When it opens, double-click on the install macOS folder to open it. Now you will see a file, installed os.package. Right-click on it and choose Open Inside. Now you will see the install os package folder, open it up. Here you will see the install ESD DMG file, but in macOS Sierra, instead of copying the ESD file, we need to open this file. And here is the folder we need, OS X install ESD. This folder contains the complete Mac operating system. So copy this folder to your desktop for creating Mac bootable USB drive on Windows. This process will take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. After extracting, we still need to go inside this folder, so we open it. Here you will see some files and folders. You have to open basesystem.dmg. Now you have to open the OS X base system folder. And here is the installer of Mac OS Sierra. Install Mac OS Sierra.app. This is the same installer you normally see in your Mac applications folder. Anyway, open this installer, then contents folder, and then open the resources folder. In here, we need to find and copy the install assistant icon file. It's here, so we'll right-click on this file and copy it to our desktop. We have copied the required files from the Mac OS Sierra DMG file, so we close the 7-zip window and proceed to the next step. In the next step, first, drag the install assistant file into the install ESD folder. After that, go to your start menu and open TransMac as an administrator. Wait for the countdown to finish and click on the Run button. Right-click on your USB drive and choose Restore with Disk Image. Now click on these three dots 
and browse the OSX install ESD folder, which we extracted a moment ago. Open the folder, then select the base system DMG file and click on the open button. Click on OK and then Yes button. This process will take some time. After the process is complete, you will get a restore complete message. Click on OK and check our USB drive. You can see that I have successfully restored the Mac OS base system to my USB drive. But our work does not end here. We have to store some more files on our USB drive. For that, right click on your USB drive and choose copy here. Now go to the OS X install ESD folder. We have to copy install assistant, base system and base system .chunk list files into our USB drive. So I select these three files and click on the copy button. This process will take some time. After copying these three files, we have to rename the install assistant file. So I right click install assistant file and choose rename. Now type dot volume icon dot icons. Please type the exact name I typed here. After that, you have to go to the system folder of your USB drive and open the installation folder. Here you will see a shortcut named packages. We have to delete this. So I right click on the packages file and choose delete. After that, right click and choose copy here. Once again, go to your OS X install ESD folder and from there, copy the complete packages folder to your USB drive. If you get this type of error, then please don't worry. Close the TransMac and open Paragon Partition Manager. Here you will see that surprisingly two partitions are created inside your USB. Simply drag your first partition to the end. A dialog box will open, just click on Resize Now. And that's all. After a simple process, only one partition will be left inside your USB drive. Now back to TransMac again and copy packages folder into your USB drive. This time you will not get any error. Congratulations, we have successfully created macOS Sierra bootable USB drive on Windows computer. In the next step, we'll explore how to address potential errors that may arise. For example, if you receive an error message indicating that your USB has low disk space, then there are several ways to resolve the issue. First, attempt to set your USB drive to a single partition. If the error message persists, consider downloading a free software such as HFS for Windows to fix the problem. The link is in the video description. What does this software do? Basically, this software allows us to read and write Mac formatted drives on Windows. After installing the software, you need to restart your computer. Once your computer has restarted, open the software and you will see a user interface similar to this. Minimize the software and navigate to your file explorer. Here you will see that your USB drive is listed here. To open your USB drive, please double click on it. Now first go to your system folder and then the installation folder. Here you will see the package folder which we copied a moment ago. First, I will delete this folder and then copy it again to show you how easy it is. To copy the packages folder, navigate to the install ESD folder and copy the packages folder. Then, paste it on your USB drive. Simple. In addition to HSF+, there are a few other options available. If you encounter an error related to TransMac software, one solution is to contact the developer for email assistance. Another option is to consider using alternative software options, like UltraDMG, or something like that. Now let's learn how to create macOS Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, or Big Sur bootable USB drive on Windows. We have already made step-by-step -step videos on how to create bootable USB drives for these operating systems on Windows. The link to these videos can be found in the video description. Basically, for creating a bootable USB drive for macOS Sonoma to High Sierra using Windows, you will need two things. A macOS full installer and its boot files. Due to Apple's policies, you can't directly download these operating systems on Windows. But, you can create a bootable USB drive for these operating systems on Windows. And I will show you how. I will provide you boot files of these operating systems. The boot files are amazing. First, prepare your USB drive, as I showed you at the beginning of this video. 
Then, go to my Google Drive, select and download the boot files for your desired Mac operating system. After that, run HSF Plus for Windows. Navigate to your downloaded folder and copy all the boot files into your USB drive. That's all. Plug your USB drive into your Mac, and this USB drive will help you boot your Mac. But, keep in mind, you must connect to the internet to download other components of the installer. It's not a perfect solution, but it can still be very helpful in times of trouble. Another solution that I would not recommend at all is to Google your required Mac operating system and download it from somewhere else. To extract the original installer from your download file, you can use TransMac or 7-Zip. Then download the boot files of the same installer from my Google Drive. And then copy macOS installer and its boot files onto your USB drive. That's all. Please keep in mind, it's highly risky and too dangerous to download macOS installer from third-party or unknown source. It might completely destroy your Mac, so do this at your own risk. Now I will tell you the safe and final way to create a bootable USB drive on Windows and fix your Mac. Just email us which Mac operating system you want. I can create a bootable DMG image for your desired Mac operating system, upload it to Google Drive, and send you the link. This bootable DMG will contain the full macOS installer plus boot files. You can create a bootable USB just by restoring the image. No additional work required. It will be an effective solution for problem solving. But please note that our fee for this service is 15 US dollars. The payment method will be PayPal. So hope it's clear now. For more useful videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.